Hey guys and welcome back. In this video we're going to be going over the floating landing gear kit for Mini 3 Pro. Look at that. I know what some of you are thinking. Like what the hell did this guy do? More accessories on top of the accessories. We've got the light. We've got the propeller guards. We've got the landing gear. But wait, there's more. We can actually add landing gear to help it float now this thing was never really designed to float so i don't really know what's going to happen but i'm hoping that if it did land in the water um dja i uh care refresh would actually kick in i don't know it's made by star trek <laughs> trek gets too funny it's like a pun uh so let's see what's inside let's get started all righty i can't wait i've always seen these oh wow look at that looks like uh my kids noodles some directions pretty sure it's straightforward unless it requires programming and configuring hopefully not all right let's see most likely we'll probably have to take those propeller guards off i actually have two noodles never lose your noodles i wonder who thought of this pretty clever uh, we have ah so that latches on like that i'm surprised it doesn't clip okay and then we have a little baggie wow this is really easy to assemble um, we'll probably have to do open heart surgery on the drone. So let's see what we have here. We've got some accessories. Ooh, I can't wait to open it. Oh, I noticed that when I took this out of the box, there are numbers on there. One, two, three, and four, right? Right on the side, there are numbers right there. So I presume they have to match. So we have to find number two, most likely. That squeezes in there. This one is number one. See right in the front? There's a number right there. There's a number one goes with number one. Look at that, it just snaps right in. Three, which of course will go there. Now you wanna make sure you put them in the correct number. I, I see what's happening. Um, it's creating this sort of angle. See how it goes like that and like that? It goes like that and it looks like a sort of like vest like suspender type thing oh there you go so it doesn't snap on so i guess you use that to screw it on and most likely we'll have to take the drone apart let's do this put this on first so i notice when you put these on you probably want to make sure that they're even right so that they slip right in and you don't have to really adjust them because remember you don't want to too off-centered and so that it's lopsided um, and too much of the drone in the front is in the water or too much of the drone in the back is in the water right wow look at that that looks really nice so now that we've got it put together it looks like we're gonna have to do some open heart surgery on the drone just the landing gear right quite the payload so we'll just take off the landing gear if you have landing gear if you don't have landing gear then you know you can skip this part that snaps off like that um we're gonna miss you actually we might put him back on look at that so that's without the landing gear and the reason why they like put the landing gear on here because if you're landing on the grass right and the grass is really low the propeller blades get caught in the grass and then basically you'll get an error on your screen that says motor stuck or something. So that's why I did that. And you, it gives you um, more, it's it's easier to, to catch it in your hand uh, without getting your fingers caught by the uh, propellers. Um, I presume one, two, three, four. One, two would probably be uh, the front. It just fits right into the grooves. So you don't have to worry about it slipping out during flight right and then we put this like that reflector accessible and then we just screw on this little bolt right here screws on like that so you have to keep turning it until it actually doesn't turn anymore so this thing's pretty snug it's a lot of turns but it's in there it's on there look at that really nice looks like it's ready to take off and land on the water um, I haven't seen many reviews. I've seen some posts where people actually ask about this and I wonder, I'm like, wow, that looks really cool. Um, again, this was never designed to 
fly on water but let's say you want to retire this drone and uh, you know add it to one of your props and just leave it standing and you can just leave it like that when the new DJI Mini 3 Quattro comes out <laughs> whatever they plan to call it um, yeah let's take this thing for a spin but it's a little late right now um, it's in the evening but most likely for you guys it'll be in real time and tomorrow let's take it for a flight and see what happens Wow, that was pretty intense. I have to say I was a little nervous. It was fun, but it's not something I'd recommend. It, I could see the motors struggling a bit. This could be fun if you live in a rural area by a lake. Uh, I notice how on the box there's a picture of the drone flying over the ocean. Uh, I would not recommend that because with the waves, the current, and the wind will, will, will put stress. I noticed that the higher I went up, um, the more unstable the drone became um, and you would have more instability um, if the currents are going let's say the waves are choppy um, the mo motor and the drone I don't think would be able to handle that as you notice in the lake it was really calm really nice and um, you know it just it just came in handy that way it was just more of a fluid experience when flying in the uh, above the water and in the water and where it's really calm so I hope this video helped you in deciding on whether or not to get the Star Trek floating landing gear kit for your Mini 3 Pro if you have any questions comments or suggestions feel free to leave them down below and I'll see you all next time